Hey everyone, Laser Dave here again with TroTech Laser. I want to take you on a deep dive into creating high quality, on demand, custom embossing and debossing leather dies with your laser system. For this project, I will use a 4 to 5 ounce Vegetable 10 Natural Leather from TandyLeather.com. Scan this QR code to order. A leather press will also be necessary to achieve a consistent looking result. I use a Vevar leather press. However, any high pressure press should work. Just know that the more pressure that can be applied, the better the results will look. To start, I will use the laser to cut some leather blanks. To do that, the raw leather must be masked to protect the surface from the heat of the laser cutting process. Mask both sides of the leather, then squeegee any air bubbles from the masking. When laser cutting or engraving leather, for best results a vacuum cutting table is recommended. To create a vacuum, cover the vector cutting grid with paper, then laser cut a template into the paper the size of the leather. Remove that paper and place the leather over that opening. When the exhaust is engaged, this will produce a vacuum and keep the leather perfectly flat during the lasering process. Create the desired cut design file, save it, and import into the Ruby software. Select the leather material parameter and send the file to the laser. Focus onto the leather and push start and cut the design file into the sheet of masked leather. Once finished, remove the cut parts from the laser, then remove the masking from both sides of the leather parts. The staining from the laser cutting process seen on the masking protected the leather surface, producing a perfectly clean, laser cut leather blank. Once the leather blanks are complete, set aside for later use. Now to create the laser process leather embossing die. After testing, I found that the most durable and best material for this process is acetyl resin, also known as Delrin plastic. Scan this QR code for the Delrin plastic used in this video. To create the leather die, first place a paper mask onto the top surface to protect the Delrin plastic from the laser's heat using a squeegee to remove any excess air bubbles. To create an embossing die graphic, start with a black and white graphic like this owl image, with a white background on the graphic. Select and invert the image so that the white turns black and the black turns white. Then apply a cut path closely around the drawing and save the design. Import that design into the Ruby software and place it into the prepared screen field. Select the Delrun material parameter and change the number of laser passes from 1 to 2. Then send that file to the laser. Place the Delrun plastic into the laser with the mask face up and focus onto the material surface. Start the laser and engrave and cut the design file into the sheet of Delrun plastic. This example is being run with a Speedy 400 120 watt laser at 100% power, 40% speed, 1000 Hz, 500 dpi with two passes and a 2 inch lens. Once finished, remove the parts from the laser. Use a small wire brush to clean the plastic and any excess masking and plastic residue. Once finished, the leather embossing die is complete. To use the embossing die, place it onto the leather surface then use a press to emboss the engraved image into the soft leather. This will produce a high quality embossed image into the leather and the leather engraved embossing dies can be used many times. If a press is unavailable, then a hammer can be used to emboss the image into the leather. However, I did find that this process can damage the die, reducing how many times it can be used. Creating a debossing die is even more straightforward. Select or design any black and white graphic, then size it, mirror it, and apply a cut path slightly larger than the leather being debossed. Engrave and cut that graphic into the Delrin plastic using the same method as the owl graphic before. Once finished, the debossing die will look like this. To deboss, more force is needed, but the process is the same. Place the leather on or below the debossing die, then apply pressure. I did find that this process required far more pressure than the embossing process. If done correctly, everything besides the image will be compressed, producing a raised image into the leather surface. 
This process has produced an outstanding high value look into the leather. This same embossing process can also be created into a pattern. To create this, simply duplicate the image into any desired pattern. Then engrave a large plate of Delrin plastic. When the leather is debossed using this plate engraved with the pattern, it will apply that pattern to the leather surface. I found that any graphic I could find would produce different looks, patterns, and feels, each producing a different, unique look and feel into the leather surface. The possibilities are truly endless. From this geometric pattern to this floral butterfly pattern, this process can take any image and quickly convert it to an embossed or debossed look. From logos to intricate images and patterns, converting ordinary leather into a unique, one-of-a-kind finish. If you have any questions, please let us know in the comment section below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to see what I laser next. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.